For this episode of Patrick Trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka, we are also going to be in Vegas, but we're getting started right here outside the Preds barn in Smashville. I've got a really good feeling that these Predators fans know their stuff, and I got prizes burning a hole in my pocket. Should we go find some winners? Let's do it. Let's go. We're playing hat trick trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. I'm outside the Preds Barn in Smashville. Sir, can you please tell me your name, where you're from, and what level of hot chicken you can handle? Uh, Kevin Kent, Nashville, Tennessee, uh, level four. Level four. I, so this guy can handle some heat, and I like that because this is about to get some hot, hot trivia, and I think you're in good shape. Day one fan here, right? Yeah. OK, I like his chances. Are you ready for question one? We're ready. Let's go. What play-by-play -play broadcaster has called over 2,000 Nashville Predators games? Uh, Pete Weber. Pete Weber. Level four guy over here. I knew it. Kevin, that gets you a hat, my man. Right. OK, so now if you're going to go for the jersey, you could lose the hat. OK. Do you want to go for the jersey? Go for the jersey. We're going for the jersey. I knew he was a level four guy. I knew he was going for the jersey. Question number two. What team did the Nashville Predators face in the 2020 Winter Classic? Dallas Stars. Dallas Stars is correct. And the Stars, you know what they won the game by? I do not. Doesn't matter, because Dallas is right, and that gets you the jersey, Kevin. Okay. Right. So now, here's the thing. You get two sweet prizes. Okay. You're going to take them and run inside, or you're going to go for the tickets? Let's go for the tickets. I needed this, Kev. I haven't had a winner in so long. He's a level four guy. I needed these tickets. Question number three, for all the marbles, who is the Nashville Predators' all-time leader in penalty minutes? Um. Take your time. Take your time. Think about it. You're a day one guy. Jordan Tutu. Kevin, Jordan Tutu is absolutely correct. You delivered, my man. That is a hattie. You get the hat, you get the jersey, you get the tickets. Thank Great you. job, Thank dude. You. Yes. <laughs> We're playing Hat Trick Trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. What's your name? Where are you from? Michaela Samuelson. I'm from Wofford City, North Dakota. North Dakota? North Dakota. And now you're a Golden Knights fan. I've been since day one. Wow, OK. So you, you, I mean, you were almost a misfit yourself, you would say. I would say. OK, I yep. love that. You ready for question number one? I am, yep. OK. Who is the only player to wear number two for the Vegas Golden Knights? I would say that is Zach Whitecloud. A little bit of sass on that answer, and I like it. That's correct. That gets you a hat. A lot of confidence there. Do you want to go for the jersey? I do, yes. Wow, OK. Here we go. Question number two. What player from the Golden Knights 2023 championship team won his first Stanley Cup when the Washington Capitals defeated Vegas in 2018? So a player on the Knights who used to play for the Caps. Shea Theodore. Wow, great, great guess. It's Chandler Stevenson, unfortunately. And even more unfortunately, I have to take the hat back from you. But Michaela, you I did tried. a great job. I tried. You're still an honorary misfit. I'm proud of you for playing. Great stuff. I have an awesome fan here in Smashville. Please tell us your name, where you're from, and what's unique about your hockey viewing experience. I'm Patrick Yarber, born and raised in Detroit, but I've lived in Nashville for 40 years. Uh, I'm nearly blind. I've been to almost 1,200 professional hockey games, and I've seen NHL arenas, hockey in 60 different buildings, and I've been to over 800 plenty of your home games. Unbelievable. So you know your stuff. Oh, yeah. You're ready to play a little trivia, I think. Let's do it. OK. What Nashville Predators defenseman twice broke 108 miles per hour during the hardest shot competition at the NHL All-Star Game? Shea Weber. Shea Weber is exactly right. That's exactly right. Patrick, you're going to get a hat. I'm going to put it right here for you, OK? That's your hat to keep. OK. If you want to risk it for the jersey, we can go to question two. Do it. We're going for question two for the jersey. All right. In game four of the 2016 second round, what Predators forward scored in triple overtime to beat the Sharks? That would be Mike Fisher. It would be Mike Fisher. This guy's 660 barns. Of course he knows Mike Fisher. Patrick, I'm putting the jersey right here for you, too. So is in your my hand... size? Yeah, it sure is, buddy. Uh, OK, so you've got a jersey. you got a hat. OK. If you want to risk it all, we can go for tickets. But if you get that wrong, I'm taking all this back. Do you want to go for the tickets? Why don't I take what I got? OK, he's, gonna, he's a smart man, too. He's taking his prize. He's going to run. Patrick, the hockey legend, leaves with a hat and a jersey. Very well done, my friend. I got another misfit over here. He's got the great Winter Classic sweater on. You love to see it. What's your name? Where are you from? 
Uh, my name is Vincent Thompson. I'm from Henderson, Nevada, so not too far from my here. Born and raised. Go Knights. Love that, Vince. All right, have you been a fan since day one? I have, day one. Okay, do you feel confident right now? Uh, 50-50, but yeah, pretty confident. All right, I'm not going to put him on blast, but he didn't know his own phone number earlier, so <laughs> I'm not really sure how confident <laughs> I am. But let's get into it. You ready? Yes. All right, question number one. Who became the first captain in Vegas Golden Knights franchise history prior to the 2020-2021 season? Oh, I can't, was it Mark Stone? Did Mark Stone come here? It was Mark Stone. There you go. Good. That gets you a hat. Good job, Vince. Trust awesome. your gut, trust okay. your gut. Thank you. Do you want to take the hat and run or do you want to keep it and move on for the jersey? I'm gonna keep it and move on for the jersey. Uh, the well, old, no, you, not keep it, other way around. You're gonna go for okay, the jersey. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna yes. go for the jersey, I like it. Okay, <laughs> we're going on to question number two. Question number two. What Vegas Golden Knights forward scored 43 goals in the team's inaugural season? Which William is, Carlson. Didn't even let me finish the question. He's got Willie on the back of his sweater, and he's got a new jersey. You'll love to see it. OK, Vince, <laughs> here's the deal. Okay. If we go on to question three, you're going for two tickets to any regular season game. OK. But if you get it wrong, I'm taking all that stuff back. Whoa. So how do you feel? Do you want to keep it and run, or do you want to go for the tickets? I'm, yeah, I'm going to keep it and run. He's going to keep it and run. That's a smart man right there, Vince. <laughs> well done. Proud of you. Thank you. Who cares about a phone number? He's got a hat and a jersey. You love to see it. We'll send it back to Chris. Thanks so much, Dan. I'm here playing more Hat Trick Trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Please tell everybody your name and where you're from. My name is Trevor Sutter. I am from Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. And Trev, you've got a little connection with the NHL. Can you tell everybody, everybody about it? Absolutely. Uh, the Sutter brothers in the NHL are my first cousins, but I grew up a Canucks fan. Love the team. Love everything about the Canucks. Been a fan since I was that tall. Go Canucks, go. All the way this year, Going baby. all the way this year. Loving the confidence. Okay, Trev, the Sedin brothers had that telepathy connection. Me and you have it right now, all right? You know what? I got the answers. They're coming to you right no here. No problem. Yeah. You ready for question one? Absolutely. True or false? The Vancouver Canucks have won the President's Trophy, awarded to the NHL team that finishes with the most regular season points. So true or false? True or false? The My guy's laughing the, the, at the, me. The, the, answer, the answer is true. My guy's laughing at me the answer, already. The answer, the answer is true. Trev, that is absolutely correct. The answer is true. Awesome. You went ahead. They awesome. won back-to-back President's Trophies in 2010, absolutely 11, they 11, did, 12. yeah. Now, I feel like I don't even have to ask my guy here, but do you want to go for the jersey and risk the Absolutely hat? Absolutely, I want to go for the jersey. Questions coming right here. Answers, answers, oh. answers. Ready? Question number two. What goalie holds the Vancouver Canucks record for wins in a single season? I am going to go with my wife's favorite hockey player, a favorite goaltender, and his name is Roberto Luongo. I saw him start to laugh at me again. He already knew, and he knew that one from his wife. He got that from his wife and from me. Roberto Luongo, bang. Roberto there you go. Luongo, bang. That gets you the jersey. Now, you told me before we started you were going for three. Absolutely, oh, going for absolutely, 100%. If I got to give this back, that's OK. I'm going for three. Hey, a little energy. We want tickets. I'm, I'm we want tickets. I'm going, little for, bit energy. I'm going for three. OK, Trev. Yes, sir. For all the marbles, For my all man. the marbles. Question number three. What Vancouver Canucks forward skated in the NHL All-Star Game five times from 1999 to 2004? Right here, Trev. Right here. It's coming right here. The answer is, oh, am I allowed to call for a lifeline? Um, no, but, I, but you can you can I, take my telepathy I feel lifeline. Like, I feel like I want to be that guy on, uh, on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and all he did was phone his dad and say, I just want to tell you that I won the million dollars. The answer is Pavel Bure. Trev, here's the thing. The answer isn't Pavel Bure. Uh, sure we needed a different lifeline. I have to take all these back from you. The answer is Marcus Naslin Marcus from 2004. Oh my God. And I wish you had called the real oh lifeline. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. But listen. How did I get that wrong? <laughs> you did great, though. Oh my God. You did That's great. Horrible. Sorry to let you down, Vancouver. Put it right here, man. I got a Predators fan here. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Casey Hyatt. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. What are the chances that you're going to be in one of these bars on Broadway singing live music later? 42%. That's pretty good. I like that. So I think there's confidence here. So we're going to get into this game, rip some trivia at you, see what you got going on. Sounds good. You ready for the first question? I am. Question number one. What is the name of the Nashville Predators mascot first introduced in 1998? Nash. It G -N -A -S -H. is Nash. With a G, too. He knew it. That gets you a hat. Sick. We're buzzing. Okay. We're on fire. Are you going to double it, it up? I can't, you, you were about to double it up. I kind of want you, you to, double, to it double it up. I want you to double it up. 
All right. I already have a hat, so. So we're going for the jersey. Let's go for I the like jersey. it. This confidence. I think that 42% singing in the bar has just gone up to 62%. Question number two. What forward did the Nashville Predators acquire from the Minnesota Wild in exchange for Kevin Fiala? <laughs> for Fifi? For that was Fifi. a tough one. That was a tough one. It is a tough one. Stand by. You can think about it. Dude. All right, Colin Blackwell. OK. Right. It's wrong. Uh, yeah. It's Mikhail Absolutely. Granlund. It's Mikhail Granlund, but listen. Mikhail. Good job. You knew Nash like it was on the back of your hand, and I really respect that. I do have to take the hat. Thank you so much for playing. No, thank you for letting Listen, me. Listen, you didn't get the hat, but we are going to get that song later in the bar. Excellent. I'll meet you there. Excellent. I got another Canucks fan with me for some hat trick trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Tell everyone watching what your name is, where you're from, and what you're doing here this weekend. Uh, my name is Sunny. I'm from Surrey, and I'm here to watch the Canucks game. You're here with your wife, right? Little convention? Yeah, sure am, yeah. Freebie? Yeah. Freebie? Freebie? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's great. I'm feeling good about this energy right now, this Canucks <laughs> knowledge. You ready for question one? All right, let's go. Question number one. Who did Rick Tockett succeed as head coach of the Vancouver Canucks? Bruce Boudreau. Yeah, he knew it. No hesitation there, which I love to see. <laughs> that wins you a hat right here, all my right, man. All right, okay, all right. so that one felt pretty good. Yeah. It feels like you nailed that one. I'm guessing you want to go for the jersey. I'm all in. Yeah, we're all in. We're going for the jersey. Question right. number two. JT Miller played for two other NHL teams prior to joining the Vancouver Canucks. Name them. New York Rangers and Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, yeah. Bang. That gets you the jersey. Look at this. Look at that. Look how sick that looks. Double skate back to back. <laughs> Those are both for you. Like triple right. skate, dude. Look at this. They're all over the place. All right. OK, so you've got some sick prizes right here. You came to Vegas. You got some cool swag. If you want to go for the tickets, we can do that. You know what? I'm out. He's out. I'm OK, out. you're going to take the jersey and the hat and run. You know what? This big Canucks fan is going to get a big dub here and in the game tonight, I think. I love the decision. <laughs> Take it and run, yeah. smart man. Right. Usually in Vegas, people get greedy. You did not. <laughs> Big winner. Thank you so much All for right. playing. Thank you. This is Hat Trick Trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. I've got a Senators fan here. And what's your name and where are you from? My name is Bennett, and I'm here from Ottawa. OK, Bennett. I've been informed that this man has a Senators podcast. So there's a lot of pressure here for you to do well. Let's give it a go. All right, question number one. Whose number four sweater was retired by the Senators in 2020? Chris Phillips. Chris Phillips is correct. Immediate answer. I can feel the knowledge seeping through. I understand why he has a podcast. This is all <laughs> checking out. Do you want to move on to question number two and go for the jersey? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I like it. Question two. In 2020, the Senators had three first round picks in the NHL draft. Name two of the three. Uh, we drafted Tim Stutzler at third overall. We drafted Jake Sanderson at number five and Ridley Gregg and I want to say like 29, but don't quote me on that one. We asked for two. He gave us all three <laughs> and he gave us the numbers. You, you. Greg was 28, but I don't even care. I'm giving right. it to you because you nailed the first two. This is unbelievable. Fair I feel like I don't even want to ask if you want to go for the third question because you clearly know everything. But do you want to go for three and go for the tickets? Sure thing. Sure thing. I like it. OK. Final question. In 2001, what player did the Senators trade to the New York Islanders to acquire defenseman Zdeno O'Chara and Bill McCult, as well as the second overall pick in the 2001 draft? That was Alexi Yashin. It's Alexi Yashin. He nailed it. You just won two tickets to whatever game you want. You get to keep your podcast, too, because I was going to take that away from him if you got this wrong. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Very impressed with it. Well done. Thank you. Beautiful stuff. Let's send it to Chris and see if you can find another winner. No one will match this energy. <laughs> Tell everybody your name and where you're from. Arminder Parr from Nanaimo, BC. Down for the weekend, down for the game. You got it. Pretty good stuff, right? Absolutely. Easy to come check out a away game. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. OK, well, you know what everybody says. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But if you win, this stuff gets to go home with you. You get to take it out of Vegas. Perfect. Let's so do can it. can you do me that solid? Let's break that rule together. Can. I think I can. Okay. Let's do it. Question number one. What brothers were selected second and third overall, respectively, by the Vancouver Canucks in the 1999 NHL Draft? I'm going to go with the Sedin brothers. You got a jersey on? I do. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? The Sedin brothers is absolutely correct. Right. Daniel second, Henrik third, which I actually think people forget, by the way. I feel like everyone thinks Henrik went second. But Daniel two, Daniel Henrik two, three, three. Yeah. that wins you the hat. Perfect. Are we going for the jersey? Yeah, let's do it. We're going for jersey. Question number two. Who was the Vancouver Canucks head coach when the franchise appeared in the 2011 Stanley Cup Final? Take oh, your time. Take oh. your time. 
Uh, they went to the final in 2011, lost to the Bees, by the way, not a big deal. But they went to the final. Uh, Who was the head coach? Alain Vigneault. Yeah, he had it. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, that gets you the jersey. Thank you. All right, so we've got the hat, we've got the jersey. Okay. Do we want to get two tickets in our back pocket, sure too? Sure do. Yep, oh, we're going for way. it, let's okay. I thought you were getting some advice on the sideline to back out, too, <laughs> and we're going for it. Question number three. All right. What member of the 2023-24 Vancouver Canucks won the Calder Trophy as the NHL's top rookie in 2010 while playing for another franchise? I'm gonna throw it a guess. Uh, uh, let's go with, I don't know, JT Miller. Apparently, what happens in Vegas does stay in Vegas because uh, I gotta take uh, all this back <laughs> and keep man. it with me. I'm all so right. sorry, right. it was Tyler Myers. Oh. Thank you so yeah, much, you did a great you. job. <laughs> We're doing Hat Trick Trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. What's your name, where are you from? Christina from Anaheim, California. Okay, Christina. I have been told that when you go inside today, you'll now be in all 32 NHL arenas. Is that true? That is true. That's unbelievable. How many bars have you been to today, though? That's the real question. Uh, no comment. Okay, fair. Hopefully it's close to 32. <laughs> It'll be the 32 and 32. It'll be perfect. <laughs> We're gonna get into this. Do you feel confident? You feel ready to rock? Sure. Let's I do like it. it. Why not? Let's go for it. Question number one. What Ottawa Senators player from 2013 to 2020 wore number six and number nine? <laughs> Bobby Ryan. It is Bobby Ryan. There you go. <laughs> that gets you a hat. We're on a roll. Do you want to keep the hat and run or you want to move on and go for the jersey? I'll try the jersey. I'll tr I love it. She's going <laughs> to try the jersey. Let's do it. Question number two. For what school did Brady Kachuk play one season of NCAA hockey? Oh. Was it Boston? Boston what? Boston U. Boston University is the correct answer. That gets you a jersey. Unbelievable stuff. OK. Do you want to go for the third and go for the tickets, or do you want to take what you have? I'm going to take what I have. Smart, smart, smart. <laughs> going to head inside going to cross off every arena in the NHL. Yeah. You love to see it. You love to see a winner. Christina, thank you for thank playing. Thank you. Tell everyone where you're from, how many hockey games you've been to. My name is Stephen White. I've only been to one hockey game. This is my first one. Uh, I'm from Lincoln, Alabama. Stephen, do we think the Predators jerseys are too yellow? No. Are you ready for question one? Yeah. Name the only Nashville Predators defenseman to win the Norris Trophy. Do I get options? Nope, you gotta you nope. gotta get it right off the top. <laughs> uh, but I can tell you he's on the team still. Uh, Roman Yoshi. Oh, Alabama in the building, getting a fresh new smash hat. There we go. Okay, now Steven, do you want to go for the jersey? Because if you get it wrong, you lose the hat, or do you want to take the hat and run? Take the hat. He's taking the hat. Alabama taking the hat and run. I love it. He's a smart man. New fan needed new swag, and we got a winner. Steven, let's go. Great job. Awesome, dude. Way to go. We're playing some hat trick trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. I'm here with my man Bradley. This guy's a Silver Knights fan, so you know he's invested. Where are you from? Uh, from Colorado. Actually. And have you just completely gotten in on this whole thing in Vegas here? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. All right, he knows the rules. We're going to jump right into this game. You ready for question number one? Yeah, absolutely. All right, Bradley, here we go. Question one. What is the name of the Vegas Golden Knights mascot? Chance. Chance. Easy. Easy. He's a Golden Knights guy, too. I love to see it. That's a hat. Well done. Do you want to keep the hat and move on, or do you want to go for the jersey? Move on. You're going to move on. I like it. OK, here we go. Question number two. What defenseman did the Vegas Golden Knights receive from the Anaheim Ducks in exchange for selecting Clayton Stoner in the 2017 NHL expansion draft? So it's a defenseman on the team right now. That's what I'll give you. Um, I'm going to go with my best guess and say Alec Martinez. That is a great guess. It's unfortunately wrong. It's Shea Theodore. Okay. But listen, at least he got a guy on the team. That's good stuff. Great job. I do have to take right. this from you. That's fine. But Bradley, you did a great job. Oh, yeah. Thank you for playing. We'll see him at a Silver Knights game. We're going to send it to Chris and see what he finds. All right, good stuff, Dan. I got another Preds fan here in Smashville. Tell everyone what's your name and where you're from. My name's Adam Fleming, and I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee. Are you ready for your first question? Yes, sir. OK. What former Nashville Predators player is married to Carrie Underwood? Oh, uh, Fisher, Mike Yes, Fisher. let's go. Yes. OK, Adam, that gets there you a go. very cool hat, I might right. say. So do you want to go for two? You got to risk everything. Let's do it. We're going for two. Let's we're going it. for the jersey. And we're going to hit Broadway later after you guess this one right. Question number two. 
In which season were the Nashville Predators awarded the franchise's first President's Trophy as the NHL club with the best regular season record? 2017. 2017, finish, finish that thought, because you know how hockey goes across. It was 2017-2018 yeah. season. That was, okay, yeah. I knew we had it. I knew we had it. <laughs> there we go. He's an Asheville guy. Okay, so you got yourself a hat and a jersey, my man. Are you going to have two tickets in your back pocket? Do you want to go for it, or do you want to take those and run? Let's go for the tickets. We're going tickets. Go take it's it. a big night here in Nashville. We're going tickets. Question number three. At the 2010 Winter Olympics, the Predators had one defenseman win a gold medal and another one win a silver medal. Name those two defensemen. And I'll tell you, it was Canada versus USA in that gold medal final. 20 soon. Yep. One of them, Weber. One of them is Weber. We okay. got one. We're one for two. On. Okay, Weber's the gold medalist. We need someone won a silver medal in 2010. Ooh. Predators, Predators, D-Man. I mean, was it Fisher? It wasn't Fisher. Uh, the silver medal is the first loser. Unfortunately, the second loser is Adam tonight because that, it was Ryan Suter. So unfortunately, I got to take all this back. But you know what? I'll still meet you at the bar later on Broadway. Sound good? That'll be all right. Awesome, man. <laughs> We're playing hat trick trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. We're here in Vegas. I got a Canucks fan. What's your name? Where are you from? Tyler from Vancouver. Did you come down from BC? Yeah. How long did it take? Uh, today, like nine hours. He seems like a pretty big fan, so I'm feeling confident. Let's get right into it. First question. Who became the NHL's first Swedish general manager when hired by the Vancouver Canucks in January of 2022? Patrick Albin. Oh, look at that. He knew what he was doing. I love it. That's a hat. Great job. Do you want to move on for the jersey? Let's keep going. I like it. OK, question number two. Two Vancouver Canucks have won the Calder Trophy as the NHL's top rookie. Name them. Elias Pettersson and Pavel Bure. Woohoo! Nailed it. That's both. You get a jersey. Wasn't sure if he was going to get Bure, but of course he got Bure. You've got to so easily. Do you want to move on to the third and go for tickets? Let's keep going. He's going to keep going. All right. This is it for all the marbles for two tickets. What is the only team that the Vancouver Canucks have played 300 or more times in the regular season? I'm going to go with the Calgary Flames. It was obviously going to be in the Pacific, and it's obviously the Flames. He did it. <laughs> That's two tickets. I got to know, Tyler. Was that a wild guess? That was absolutely a wild guess, yeah. Well, it was the right guess. You love to see it. That's two tickets to any game he wants. Tyler, great job. I you. needed a winner today, and I finally got one. I'm proud of you. Awesome. Let's Thank send you very it to much. Chris and see if he has a winner, too. We're playing Hat Trick Trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Tell me your name and where you're from. I am Sherry, originally from Flushing, New York, but I've been in Nashville here for 10 years now. So, Sherry, you have a friend here with you tonight. Yeah, Tell my best friend, Beth. Tell me how that friendship was born. That friendship was born seven or eight years ago when I had two season tickets to the Preds, and she had two season tickets right behind me. And we have became best friends ever since, and now we're each down to one ticket, but we sit next to each other, and we never miss a game. I love it. Question one for the hat. Okay. For which team did Ryan McDonough and Luke Shen win two Stanley Cups with? Tampa Bay Lightning. Hey, finish question. Sherry, that gets you the hat. Ooh. Now, the hat's cool. Jersey's even cooler. Are we going for We're it? We're going for the We're jersey. going for jersey. We're going for jersey. Season ticket holders going for the jersey. Yes. Question two. Okay. Who was the Nashville Predators head coach for the franchise's first Stanley Cup final appearance in 2017? It was Barry Trotz. Or it was Peter Laviolette. Laviolette went over the boards in that lovely you game. You know what? It was Peter Laviolette. I believe that was one continuous thought, and it is Peter Laviolette. Then we are going to give you that jersey. Okay. That is two for two. So you've got the hat. You've got the jersey. Do you want to risk it all and go for the tickets? Let's it's it's a game? OK, we're going for the tickets. Game anywhere she wants. We're going to put it all I on want. the table. OK. Question three okay. for the season ticket holder. What team did the Nashville Predators defeat to earn the first Stanley Cup playoff series victory in franchise history in 2011? It's okay, dig deep. Think, focus, you're good. Focus, <laughs> I like it, I like it. No, you're okay. taking time. People, people, people go too fast, people go too fast, people go too fast, people go too fast. Chicago, or let's go to St. Louis. Sherry, I'm wrong. I'm very sorry, it is the Anaheim Ducks. Okay. But you made a fantastic guess. I hate to do it, it's but I gotta take all this back. Chicago? 
But you know what? You're at a game with your best friend. You're going to have a fantastic night. Fred's getting the dub. Thank you so much. Hat Trick Trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. We've got a new Predators fan here. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, John up in Clarksville, Tennessee. Beautiful. And you lived in Nashville for just a year or so now, right? Yep, just a year here. OK, so we've got a freshie. I like that. Feel ready? Yeah. Feel loose? Let's give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. That's the only thing we can do. I like it. Question number one. Who is the only Nashville Predator to win the Vesna Trophy? Uh, Pecorine. It is Pecorine. That gets you a hat. Right. Listen, Pekka's statue is standing right behind us. All right, you got the hat. Do you want to move on and go for the jersey? Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. Why not? I like it. Let's OK, a, a little shot. bit of doubt, but the confidence came through. Let's give it a shot. Question number two. What two Nashville Predators forwards scored 43 and 42 goals, respectively, in 2021-22. So would that be Duchesne? Guess uh, that's one. OK. Um, Roman Yossi. Great guess. One of the best defensemen in the game. Unfortunately, it's wrong. It's Philip Forsberg. Forsberg. Oh, right. That was the second one he had. I know it. I know it. Listen, maybe a new fan, but you got more knowledge than you're giving yourself credit for. I am going to take the hat back, and it kills me to do it, but I'm very proud of you. We're going to have a great time today. Thank you. We are playing Hat Trick Trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Can you please tell everybody your name and where you're from? Uh, Josh, I'm from Seattle, Washington. Originally from Vancouver, BC. All right, Josh, you know how to play. Yeah. Are you ready to play? I will do my best. All right. I will do my best. Question number one. What Vancouver Canucks player was selected seventh overall in the 2018 draft and has two brothers that were also first round draft picks. Uh, Quinn Hughes. Yeah, that's my guy, Quinn Hughes, the assist machine. The Josh, that gets you the hat. That Quinn Hughes gets you the hat. Do you want to go for two? Yeah, we're in Vegas. Let's we're gamble. in Vegas, baby. We're going to gamble. gamble. We're going for two. I love yeah. the energy. Question number two For which school did Brock Besser play two seasons of NCAA hockey? University of North Dakota. <laughs> Let's go! Is that right? My man is gambling hey. and he's winning. And he gets the cool jersey, by the way. He gets gamble, the cool gamble. jersey. Gamble in Vegas. Now, Josh, oh, man. you've got some sweet prizes. I got some sweet prizes. Do you want to take them and run into the building or do you want to go for the tickets? Oh, man. You know, I I think I got to play it safe. This is some sweet stuff. It is. Uh, it I, is. I think I that last one, I'm. I don't know if I can get anything more. Yeah, we can't pull out that. another one. No, I think I gotta just take and take my winnings and leave this city, leave Vegas with a little bit. Yeah, so. ladies and gentlemen, you rarely see the smart gambler. <laughs> think I found one right here. Josh is taking the prize and running. A wise decision, my man. Great Thank job. You so much. What's your name? Where are you from? Hey, Nick Gould. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. And Nick, you've been a fan since 2002. Yeah, we moved we moved here then. So yeah. All right. So hopefully you know your stuff. I feel pretty confident. You're rocking the jersey. You look great. Do you feel great? Yeah, feel good. Yeah. All right, there we About go. To Let's... Meet the Senators. Let's uh, go. Oh my God, I love this confidence. Let's roll it right into the question. What Nashville Predators general manager won his 1,320th game to become the NHL's all time winningest GM on March 1st, 2018? Poyle. It is David Poyle. Well done. Beautiful. That gets you a hat. The confidence is building. We're flowing here. We're feeling the rhythm. Do you want to move on and go for the jersey? We're moving on. We're, We're moving, moving on. on. We're moving on. Okay, question number two. Who replaced Peter Laviolette as the Nashville Predators head coach during the 2019-20 season? John Hines. It is John Hines. Like, what, what did I say? The confidence. It's contagious. He's got it. And he's now got a jersey. This is unbelievable. Do you want to take it and run? Or do you want to go for the tickets? We're going for the tickets. We're going for the tickets. Of course he's going for the tickets. This is unbelievable. OK, final question for the tickets. What member? of the 2023-24 Nashville Predators has a brother that was selected by the franchise in the fifth round of the 2005 NHL Draft. Cole Smith. Cole Smith is a great guess. It's the wrong guess. And now my day is ruined because I have to take the jersey and the hat from you. But listen, you did a great job. The answer is Ryan O'Reilly. His brother, Cal, played for Nashville in parts of four different seasons. Listen, that's a deep cut question. I'm not going to give you too much of a hard time. You my, did a great my job. My fiance is going to give me a hard time. Oh, wow. She loves Ryan O'Reilly. Wow. Listen, I thought the worst part of my day was taking the merch from this guy. Apparently, it's creating a problem in his house. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> you did a great job. I'm proud of you. Get Appreciate in there and have some fun. Absolutely. We'll send it over to Chris, see if he can find a winner. Tell everyone your name and where you're from. Yeah, Patrick Gould uh, from Nashville, Tennessee. Patrick, let me see if your mind's sharp, OK? Because it's All a right. trivia game. What, yep. what day is it? Tuesday. OK, OK, it's off to a good start. I like this guy. I'm feeling good about this mind. Are you ready for question one? Let's do it. 
what player did the Nashville Predators acquire from the Montreal Canadiens in exchange for Shea Weber? Uh, P.K. Subban. Bang. He knows what day it is. He knows it's P.K. Subban. That gets you a hat, my friend. All right. You know the rules. Yep. You're going to lose that hat. You want to go for the jersey? Let's go. We're going jersey. I knew it. What day is it? Tuesday. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. OK, <laughs> here we go. In 1998, who was selected second overall to become the Nashville Predators' first ever draft pick? Uh, David Legwand. Dang! He knows what day it is. He knows it's David Legwand. <laughs> that's a hat. That's a jersey. You know the game, my man. Are we going tickets or are we running with our stuff? Let's do it. We're going tickets. I knew it. What day is it? Tuesday. Let's go. OK, here we go. Question three. Scott Hartnell began and ended his NHL playing career with the Nashville Predators. Name the two other NHL teams he played for. Uh, Philadelphia Flyers and... Think, take your time. Take your time. Think about it. Uh, the Devils. Patrick, you know what day it is, but you don't know who Scott Hartnell uh, played for. Uh, it's the Philadelphia Flyers and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Oh, but you were right there. You did awesome. Thanks for playing, man. Yeah. We're doing some more hat trick trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. What's your name? Where are you from? Carl Jackson, Henderson, Nevada. All right, Carl. So this guy's from Missouri. Must be a blues fan. Uh, absolutely. But you're here rocking the Knights now, and I love it. Yes, you ready to rock? Absolutely, absolutely. Let's do it. Question number one. From which team did the Vegas Golden Knights acquire Ivan Barbashev in February of 2023? The Blues. Look at that! He's a Blues fan. He knew right. immediately. That gets you a hat. Sweet. I love can it, Carl. Can I rock it right now so I don't look so bad on television? Absolutely, right. you can. <laughs> Toss that hat on. All right, Carl. I love it. We're right. buzzing. There Do you want to go. go for the second one? Absolutely. I love it. Here we go. Question two: What Vegas Golden Knights player holds the team record for penalty minutes in a season? Oh, that's got to be Reeves. <laughs> of course it has to yes. be Reeves. The enforcer is not dead in this league, and Carl is not dead in this game. That gets him a jersey. Oh, sweet. We're on a roll. <laughs> sweet. Now, you can take that stuff and run, or you can go for the tickets. What are you feeling? Ooh, ooh, I'm torn. I get it. It's a tough choice. You got some good stuff here, but tickets are pretty nice. But it's up to you. I've always been taught to quit while you're ahead, so I'm going to take the merchandise. I love it. That's smart, Carl. Good job. You got a jersey. You got a hat. He nailed this game. I'm so proud of him. We're going to go and have a blast, but we're going to toss it to Chris now and see if he has another winner. Go Knights, go! We're back here in Nashville playing Hat Trick Trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Tell everyone your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Tyler Monty. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And Ty, uh, the Nashville Predators is going to get that dub tonight? Oh, yeah. Are you going to win some prizes? Yeah. All right, calm down. This game's pretty hard, actually. OK, so here we go. We're going to reel it in. Ready? Yep. Question one. How many times have the Nashville Predators played in the Stanley Cup final? Once. Once. Did they win? No. Unfortunately, no. But you did get that question right, so that gets you a hat, my man. Do you want to go for two? It's cost you the hat if you're wrong, but the jersey's the big prize. Yeah, let's go for two. Going for two. OK. From which country are the top two goaltenders on the Nashville Predators' all-time shutout list? So the two goalies that have the most shutouts in Nashville history are from the same country. What is it? One of them's the current goalie. Finland. Yeah. And the second one's right there. There he is. I was going to give you a little hint. Finland, Pecorine, and UC Soros, bang, hat and jersey. This guy's feeling it. Do you want to go for tickets, or do you want to run away with the prizes you got right now? Let's go for tickets. Wow, we're going for tickets. We've got a bold crowd in Nashville. I really like that. OK, the big one, number three, for the tickets. What future Hockey Hall of Fame inductee did the Nashville Predators acquire in a trade with the Philadelphia Flyers on February 15, 2007? So they, they got him from the Flyers in 2007. And I'll tell you this, he only played in 17 regular season games and five playoff games for the Preds. Peter Forsberg. Oh, let's go from the parking lot, Tyler. That's tickets, that's a jersey, that's a hat. We've got another hat trick winner. I'm having an all time day here, Ty. Great job and thank you so much, my man. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Here in Vegas doing some hat trick trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. I'm with my guy Nick here, Vegas Golden Knights fan. Go you know Knights, I, go! You know what I love about you, Nick? What's up? There's a difference between being hurt and being injured. Nick is clearly just hurt because he's still <laughs> playing. He's not on the LTIR. This is unbelievable. You ready to rock in this game? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, question number one. What member of the 2023 Stanley Cup champion Vegas Golden Knights also won a cup as captain of the St. Louis Blues in 2019? Petrangelo. Yes, it is Alex Petrangelo. Let's go. That's a nice. hat. All right. Oh, 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 Give me my oh. bad wing. Perfect. Give it to his go. bad wing. I love that, Nick. 
That's a hat. Do you want to keep going for the jersey, or do you want to take the hat and run? Let's go big or go home, right? Let's go big or go home. We're going to question two. OK. What Vegas Golden Knights player scored a goal in his NHL debut at the age of 28 during the 2023-24 season? That's right there. Yeah, it's on a, I know it is. I, this jersey's just waiting to go to you. I know, I know. I can't, I can't pull it. You're not going to I can't pull it. No, I don't, I don't, he can't pull it. I can't pull it. Unfortunately, uh, the answer is Mason Morelli. It was there. I have to take the it's hat kind of back. An Italian name. I, the, the fact that I'm taking a hat back from an injured man, this is awful. I hate it. But listen, don't, don't feel bad. It's okay. Nick, you did a great job. You got that first question right. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Hey. Like we said, he's playing hurt. That's glue guy stuff. You love to see it. Thank you so much. Hey, absolutely. Thank you. I was you guys. gonna pop you on the shoulder, no, but good. I feel like I might break something. It's already broke, so it's, don't worry. There you go. We're fine. <laughs> Can you please do three things for me? Tell everyone your name, where you're from, and what Hogwarts house you'd be in. I'm going to answer this out of order. Uh, I've never really watched Harry Potter. My name is Cameron. I'm, I was born and raised here in Las Vegas. OK, well, Cameron, Ravenclaw is the smart house. So let's say Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Yeah, OK, good. Now we can see now we're in the right headspace for this. Are you ready for question one? Let's do it. What player on the 2023 Stanley Cup champion Vegas Golden Knights was selected second overall by the Buffalo Sabres in 2015? Softball. Eichel. This guy giving me a hard time already. Jack Eichel is the correct answer. That wins you a hat. You take it. Okay. You take it. You all take right, that. Right. That's yours to keep, unless you get one wrong and I'm taking it back, and then it's mine to keep. And okay. You, you want to risk it? it? We're going for Let's two. See, yeah. We're Let's going for going. two. Yeah. No more softballs for my man here. Question right. number two. Name the two goalies who started games for the Vegas Golden Knights in the 2023 Stanley Cup playoffs. Take your time. The two goalies okay. that started. Brossois, Laurent Brossois, number 39. Aiden Hill, number 33. You gave me the numbers, too. Jonathan Quick backing up. <laughs> yes! My god! Did you get two jerseys for that? Here you go. This is yours to keep, unless you risk it all and go for the tickets right here. It's a gambling city, boys, right? It's a gambling city. He's going for it all. Question number three for tickets. Let's take a deep breath together. Ready? OK. Question number three. Name the four teams that the Vegas Golden Knights defeated in the 2023 Stanley Cup playoffs. Winnipeg Jets. Edmonton Oilers, Dallas Stars, Florida Panthers. It's a gambling city. We got a gambling winner. That's what I'm talking about. Do, do you that have is any more? a hat trick. Do you have any more? He wants more. Yeah. He wants more. He's going to own the around. team by the end of this thing. Are you kidding me? Cameron, yeah. <laughs> my big winner. I've been looking for this all night. Thank you so much. Go Knights, go, baby. That's Hat Trick Trivia presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Signed, sealed, delivered. What a time we had in Smashville and in Vegas. We had celebration, we had devastation, we had wins, we had losses. But the fans showed up and they showed out, like always, we had a ball. Unreal, we will see you next time. Let's get out of here.